Hi, I'm Dolores Santangeli, surrogate mother for hire. I'm polite, professional, and I have an unusually strong birth canal. So hire me. I want to have your baby. Dolores Santangeli, surrogate mother for hire. I want to have your baby. Your one o'clock consultation is here. Oh, thank you. Oh, Gavin, you know I don't mean I want to have your baby, right? Yeah, you don't need to clarify that every time. So it's Corinne and Jerry, right? Yes, I'm sorry. I tried to contact him earlier and I couldn't reach him. Husbands, right? <laughs> I hear that from people with husbands. Wait. No, sorry. I thought I heard Jerry. So how does this whole process work? Oh, it's way easy. Uh, what we do is we take your husband's sperm and your eggs and it gets the doctor like, it gets like mixed up, uh, mixes it mixes it up. The doctor will mix it up and put it, there's a guy that's gonna be a doctor and he's gonna put it inside. It's kind of like, and then the doctor takes this thing, I forget what it's called, it's like that long. A turkey. baster, a turkey it's baster. Like a turkey baster. Have you ever seen that? The way familiar. you would flavor a turkey with juices? Yeah, and sort of so like similar to like done. Thanksgiving, then, you know, it, um, like, I don't know, know if like you celebrate Thanksgiving or not. Do you celebrate, we don't wanna make assumptions about it. It's complicated, you know, it just tends to work. Science is fascinating. Right? Yes. Oh, Jerry! Jer we're in here! Oh, no, no I'm, I'm sorry. I thought I heard Jerry. Husband. <laughs> so what's it like having a living person inside of you? Oh, I love being pregnant. Don't you get attached to the baby? Nah, I hate kids. What about the weight gain? I like getting fat. And the morning sickness? I'd be throwing up anyway. Fritos? No, thank you. Oh, that's Jerry now. Can you feel him? Hey, babe. Sorry I'm late. I got stuck at work. My boss is such a jag. Well, jag or not, that's no excuse for being late. Can we seriously not do this right now? Whoa, so your husband is a ghost who speaks through you. Right. Okay, we gotta know. Um, was he ghost when you first met him? Or did you know him and then he became a ghost? Oh, totally a ghost when I met him. <clears throat> so, how many babies would you like? Five, what's normal? We'll start with one. 